Let me show you this. Here we go. Springtime. I want to remind you, the entire vision of Daniel was to be for our days. That's what it said. And when does the vision of warfare take place in the end of days? During the month of Nisan, which is when Passover is. This is a war with Amalek or Iran. Now, do you remember what month was the first month that Amalek attacked? What was the event? If you don't remember the month, what was the event? Anyone remember the first time Amalek attacked? The first time was the second month, Eyar. They've left Egypt, and they're trying to go across, and Amalek attacked the weak and the elderly. When was the next time we hear of a big story of a war with Amalek? Okay, this, the first time refers to the Exodus. The second time refers to the book of Esther. The second time he attacked was in the 12th month, which is the month of Adar. What is in between the 12th month and the second month? The first month. And the third time and the final time of Amalek attacks when Yeshua returns is the first month, which is Nisan. Okay, this is, uh, I think of it this way. Esther took place in March and April. Nisan is March, April, May. And ER can be in April or May. So that basically gives you an idea. But the main thing is the war is in the spring. That's when the kings go to war. So think of bookends. Amalek attacked the second month, the first time, then the 12th month. And this next time we see the war with Amalek is going to be in the first month, which is the month of Nisan. Okay, now going back to our verse... <clears throat> Who was the God of the Ammonites? Who? Nope, not Baal. Who did the Ammonites and the Moabites both worship? Molech. They would offer their children to the fire, kind of like abortion or whatever. If you remember, the Messiah came the first time in the form of Moses at the Exodus, and they were killing all the babies. The second time was when Messiah came, and they were killing all the babies. And here we are the third time, and what are they doing? They're killing all the babies. Okay, so Milcom is a horrible god. Solomon, King Solomon was the first one to sacrifice his firstborn. It's in the Bible. To Molech. And now this is who Israel is attacking. Joab is the head of the army. He whips up on them and beats the bejeebies out of them. Okay, and look what happens. We just got done reading that David was where? Yeah, but now, why? Anybody know why David waited? David did go. Why did he wait? I will show you. Joab celebrates. What does he do? Joab takes the crown of the god Molech and puts it on his head. So here, Joab the general has the crown of the pagan god Molech on his head, and he's walking around. And David comes. And what do you think David does? It says, 1 Chronicles 22, David takes the crown of Milcom from off his head. Its weight was a talent of gold. It had stones of great price, and David put it on his own head. Now, David has the crown of a pagan god on his head, and he took a great store of goods from the town. And then in 1 Chronicles 20, it says, then David and all the people went back to Jerusalem. He's got a pagan god on his head. Why was he still in Jerusalem? Well, let's go look what 2 Samuel 11 1 says about this same time. In the spring, at the time when the kings go to war, David sent Joab and his servants and all of Israel, all of Israel, everybody's gone. And they made waste of the land of the children of Ammon and took up their position before Rabbah, shutting it in. But David, what? Tarried. There's a difference between saying David was still at Jerusalem and saying David tarried when everyone's left. Why? He's eyeballing Bathsheba taking a shower. That's where David's mind was. Everybody's gone. Look at 2 Samuel 11, 2. 
here it is the same time when it's time to go to war and David is having an internal war. It came to pass that in that even time, David arose from off his bed, walked upon the roof of the king's house. In the roof, he saw a woman watching herself, and the woman was very beautiful to look upon. The reason he, he, he tarried, but because he tarried when everyone else left, now comes the whole problem with Bathsheba. He's having all kinds of moral problems, which is why he ends up putting the crown of the god Milcom on his head. But I'm just telling you, the purpose of this, each and every one of us are going to be going through a war, not only externally, but internally, and we have to conquer our demons inside. The battle is coming. I'm letting you know in advance. 